Welcome back. Army engineers have been training Iraqi Army soldiers for the last few months. Sergeant Christopher Hurst reports from Camp Taji, where the two are working together to retrieve a bridge. It's a cold, windy, and rainy February morning. The soldiers of the 299th Multi-Role Bridge Company are braving the elements, working side by side with their Iraqi Army partners from the Iraqi Strategic Bridge Company. Their 10-day long mission is to retrieve a Maybe Johnson float bridge spanning across the Tigris River near Camp Taji, Iraq. The bridge is being taken down because it is no longer a military necessity, and it was also an opportunity to have the Iraqi Army test their skills from their bridge building training. We've been training soldiers from the Strategic Bridge Company in uh, training cycles on and off since November. Uh, we have a group of 30 of their more experienced soldiers out here with us, and we're, they're integrated left seat, right seat on this build. The engineers in Iraqi Army will dismantle the bridge, stacking the pieces on pallets, after which the pieces will be placed into storage containers. Right now, it's probably one of our most rewarding missions. I've served as the OIC of our uh, assault float bridge training element with the Iraqis from, from the get-go, and, and it's definitely very rewarding. Iraqi soldiers, they're hardworking and they're dedicated. You know, it gives you a good sense of uh, accomplishment, seeing them actually put into use something you've trained them, and uh, gives you a good feeling knowing we're going to leave here and they're going to know what they're doing to continue the bridge mission here in Iraq. After the bridge is retrieved and stored, it will be shipped down to Kuwait to wait on the next mission when the U.S. Army Reserve needs to bridge the gap. From Baghdad, Iraq, I'm Army Sergeant Christopher Herf.